Hello, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your March the 3rd Spiritual Principle a Day in a Meditation. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. The title of this meditation is Interdependence in Our Primary Purpose. The group depends on its members. And members depend on the group being true to its purpose. That's from the Guiding Principles, Tradition 5, Spiritual Principles. Our interdependence and its significance become clear when we reflect on our group level service. We come to see how our primary purpose feeds our mutual needs. I need the group and the group needs me, as one member put it. Taken together, our individual contributions create a fertile atmosphere in which recovery blossoms. And we bloom, too, as our support for the necessary task of maintaining a group elevates our personal recovery. Our own gut instinct may inspire some of us to get involved in service. For others, being cornered by a seasoned home group member who doesn't let us run away after the we're having a business meeting today announcement provides the inspiration. No matter what gets us to our first group business meeting or any other service meeting, in a service can teach us a great deal about interdependence. As a group, we can function without members performing necessary tasks. Excuse me, as a group, we can't function without members performing necessary tasks. As individuals, contributing to those tasks improves our own functioning and emboldens us to recruit others to help carry the message. Offering our time, effort, attention, perspectives, and cornering other members keeps us alive and focused on our primary purpose. I had less than two months clean when I went to my first group business meeting in Attic Shared. The group was voting on motions for the World Service Conference, and they asked my opinion, saying the newcomer perspective was important. It occurred to me that there were home groups like this all around the world, talking about the same issues and sharing their perspectives. I felt connected to NA in a big way. Whether discussing global issues, issues in the fellowship or local ones, our voice as members and as groups are important. Each segment of our fellowship does its part so that we, as members, have a place to share in carrying the message of hope and recovery. Our common welfare benefits from every contribution we make and every commitment we undertake. Embracing interdependence energizes unity and vitalizes our own well-being. At any given moment, a member or seasoned member somewhere is experiencing the same message that saved my life. In, in a service, I am a part of that. Wonderful meditation, long but wonderful. Okay, so let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference just for today. Please and thank you. There's a couple of things I, I want to talk about. I think the interdependence part is absolutely true. It's absolutely necessary. It's not absolutely necessary for everyone to do service. You need to know what your niche is. Some people aren't, aren't they don't do well with service work. Um, 
especially with the type of commitments that require showing up on a regular basis. Their schedules just don't allow, but there are other ways to uh, to give or to do service work in a, in a manner that is less invasive on one's own personal timetable. Um, and I think that some of those ways could be events, maybe participating in an event that your group might be throwing. Um, generally speaking, there's tons of opportunities to do service work at those types of events. Um, and generally speaking, I would say that, you know, there's a small percentage of the individuals in the fellowship that do all of the service work. <laughs> and there's a larger portion that benefits from all of that service work that is getting done. And I would have to say that different types of service fit different people in different ways. And the only way that a person, you yourself, will know what type of service work is best for you is to get busy taking on some of those commitments. Now, I, I hate to think that an old timer or someone that has been doing um, service work would corner anyone and try to shame them or guilt them into um, doing some service work. I, I would think that they would be mature enough spiritually not to do that. Uh, they might gripe and complain. And usually at that stage, they're thinking about how to step away from the service work, but wanting to make sure that uh, they don't just drop it without having someone that they can train to take over for them. Uh, so in that sense, they might be approaching you. Uh, what do you think about, you know, being the co-chair of chairs. What do you think about that? What do you think about H and I? They might approach you from that angle, but hopefully it's not from a point of view of exhaustion um, where they're going to really apply the pressure and promote it, right? It should be about attraction. All of it should be attractive. And hopefully you're attracted enough to Narcotics Anonymous and service work as well to do something. So drop down in the comments below what service positions you have. Uh, I'd be interested in knowing how long you've been doing them. Uh, is it time for you to, in a spirit of rotation, turn it over? Just create a dialogue that we can start getting to know one another in. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you. And I will be talking to you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day.